Whatever ties Saipov may have to Tampa, his arrest brings back memories of how USF became caught up in a controversy over alleged terrorism. Before and after the 9-11 attack, that controversy led some critics to call USF Jihad U. Mark Douglas continues our team coverage now. He is live up at USF with the latest. Hi, Mark. A good evening to you, Stacey. We're primarily talking about former USF engineering professor Sami al Aryan. Now, back in the 1990s, he formed an off-campus think tank along with his brother-in-law and a third man. Now, that third man later surfaced as the head of a terrorism organization in the Mideast known as the Palestine Islamic Jihad. Former USF engineering professor Sami al Aryan was a firebrand when it came to Palestinian politics. And in 2003, he became a terrorism suspect. The FBI arrested Al Aryan in his Tampa apartment. Then Attorney General John Ashcroft called him the financial head of the Islamic Jihad in America. But two years earlier, on the day of the World Trade Center attack, Al Aryan told me he deplored terrorism. We're horrified. We're really horrified of, of, of what's happening. I can't imagine. Any person would, would do such a thing. In the 1990s, Al Aryan co founded a think tank with Ramadan Shalah, a shadowy figure who later became a terrorist leader in Palestine. Another associate was former USF instructor Mazen Al Najjar, who was Al Aryan's brother in law. Al Najjar landed in federal detention for almost four years based on secret evidence. That's where I interviewed him two years before 9 11. Are you a terrorist? No, I'm not. Even the government never alleged that, that I am one. This whole thing, uh, allegations about national security threat, I mean, it is really far-fetched from the truth. The New York terrorist arrested yesterday has no ties to USF, and local Muslim leaders insist USF has no ties to terrorism now, if it ever did. Was or is USF a hotbed for terrorism? Absolutely not. There is just no connection. I think those people are conspiracy theorists. Federal prosecutors never did get a terrorism conviction against Sami al Aryan, but he was deported to Turkey two and a half years ago after a conviction on lesser charges. Now, Al Najjar was deported back to the Mideast the year after 9 11 for overstaying his student visa. Now, USF did not respond to our questions about either one of those men today, but they said absolutely this campus, this school, this university has nothing to do with that terrorist arrested yesterday in New York City. He was not a student, he was not a faculty member, he was not employed here. Stacy? They want to be very clear about that. Thank you, Mark.